Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I welcome everyone for the IGBC Green Your uh, School webinar, like program uh, webinar. This, this is the fourth part of the series. And uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, today we are going to, um, uh, we, we have uh, uh, one of the award winning schools from 2023, uh, that is Bharti Vidya Bhavan. The coordinator is with us and she would like to share the implementations that they have done, that they have proposed as a part of uh, Green New School Program 2023. Uh, uh, Nagalakshmi, ma'am. Uh, Hello. Hello, ma'am. Is this audible? Yeah, yeah. I'm just sharing the screen. Please start the please start presenting. Yeah. Uh, namaste. The Yes, thank you so much. Namaste, yes. everyone. This is Nagalakshmi from Bharti Vidya Bhavan Sarpakuri Ramarao School, Hyderabad. So, as a part of Green Year School Contest Program last, uh, last year, we have won the prize. And for this proposal, we have uh, almost worked out for uh, two and a half months for the proposal of the ideas. So, this is my team. And uh, before uh, we propose the ideas, we have made a survey in such a way that we have sent a circular to all the children from class 6 to 12 uh, so that stating them to give the ideas for sustainable development in the school campus. So initially we thought that we may be getting very few and but later on we have seen that n number of ideas we got from class 6 to 12 and also from teachers. So out of all those ideas which best suits our school we have sorted it out for 20. Then out of that 20, we have filtered to 10 and which we have uh, proposed for the PPT. So this is my team, uh, which uh, has cooperated with me. These are all class nine children, uh, worked out uh, seriously on these concerns and uh, we have uh, proposed the ideas. So for basic uh, proposal of the ideas, what we have considered is we have considered the challenging areas in the campus. These challenging areas uh, helped, uh, helped us to uh, put forth the ideas so that which can implement further later on. So, um, next one. So, uh, as a part of our regular practice, we do WOW program. I, I think many of the schools are also doing this, where uh, wastage of books from the students we collect in the beginning of the month itself, uh, that is in the June month. And we give this to ITC uh, company and where they recycle these books and in turn they give the stationery to the children where a huge amount of waste gets reduced, uh, which is going to end up in the land landfill. So that's how we are managing waste. Since this, uh, we are practicing this activity or this idea since 2018. Next. So uh, as a part of our regular events, we have included the uh, sustainable events in the assembly activity itself so that every child gets the basic idea of the practices like clay Ganesha making, which we have recently done uh, five days back before the festival. And we have given that ideals to the students to home. So World Habitat Day, World Paper Free Day. So such a kind of uh, uh, sustainable activities included in a uh, calendar so which we perform date wise date wise we perform in the school campus yes. right so the first idea which we have uh, come up is rain garden so if we look at our campus our campus is so that uh, the two blocks which is block a and block b that means senior and uh, primary and uh, secondary blocks they uh, School is located in a hilly region. So there is a huge gap between the height of these two buildings. So based on that, we have steep areas from either side of the building. So based on this topology of our building structure, so we have planned a rain garden where water easily gets collected uh, without any effort. So this rain garden we have developed in our campus. Next slide. So which has uh, many benefits, like it helps in drainage improvement, it helps in recharging the uh, groundwater, it helps in uh, increasing the biodiversity and wildlife, it, and we, uh, it also helps in 
um, in this maintenance of this rain garden needs very, very little maintenance because the plants that we have used in this rain garden is cannas. Initially, we have developed one of the rain garden we have developed in the campus, which is uh, with 60 cannas we have developed. Now it has become grown very huge and 200 cannas are growing. So next slide. So this is one of the rain garden we have developed from either side of the campus. So one side of the steep area, we are collecting the water. You can see even a grill area here. So the water gets into the catchment area where we are growing this plant. So another two locations also we are going to implement. So this is one of the idea. And this is a Shantani Ketan classroom. This is an age old method which everybody knows. So we got this idea because uh, last year it so happened one of our tree in the campus, it, it is slowly getting deteriorated and it's spoiled. So we have cut the tree. So at that time we got this idea of instead of wasting those trunks, we can develop this as a natural nature classroom. So we have developed a Shantali Ketan classroom where right now classes are also going on on a turn basis throughout the campus. Uh, a particular day and period is given. So they will go and enjoy their class in the uh, Shantali Ketan classroom. So this also helped us in reducing the uh, consumption of electricity and also helps in uh, increasing the aesthetic sense in the students. Next. So these are our watchmen and our uh, gardeners who are uh, doing this work uh, in the setup. So that's how finally we got a, a very uh, beautiful Shantani Ketan classroom we have doubled. So, and uh, our next idea, actually, instead of calling this as an idea, this is a regular practice we do in the campus because uh, in 2018, uh, one of our team has come up uh, with a mosquito repellent uh, project, which we got selected for CBSU nationals. Nationals we have met. So there, uh, this uh, idea we have started implementing in the school. So development of our uh, preparing mosquito repellents we have done in three different methods one preparation of liquid one preparation of liquid next slide mosquito repellent uh, liquid which we have used with the neem oil and turpent oil and this we have used as a spray as we have lots of greenery in the campus so so what the mosquitoes keep coming visiting us so we have prepared our own mosquito repellent which is very very uh, uh, it, it's uh, not harmful to not harmful to the environment as well as to the children and the teachers uh, teachers to the in the campus. So that's why we have prepared this mosquito repellent. Still dated, we are using this. Then we have prepared mosquito repellent tablets. So these tablets we have prepared so that we we are using these tablets in the stagnant water locations so that it avoids larva growth. And for this we have used neem paste, marigold leaves. A tulsi paste and turpent oil. So this we are using and the next we have prepared even mosquito repellent creams. So in which we have used a moisturizing cream, neem oil and rose water and this we have tested with all the teachers in the campus and fruit out, came out very well. So it's eco-friendly and moreover uh, it, did, it, does, it did not create any side effects in the, on the skin. So that's how this Three things we are right now using in the campus from 2021 onwards. So, so this is one of the ideas. Then, uh, natural floor cleaner, uh, which uh, we have worked on, because uh, every month we are spending lots of amounts of money and on buying up the chemicals for floor cleaners. Though they say it is biodegradable, or though it is, though they say that they are. Harmless to the environment, but still they have some effect on the environment. So, uh, children, this idea was given by the children, so they came up uh, with a very age old method of preparing floor cleaning. So, in this floor cleaner, we have used the natural material and mixed up uh, with the water, and after that, we filter that water, and that water we use for uh, flooring the uh, cleaning, sorry, cleaning the floor. So, it came out very well, and this also we are using since last year. Right. So another fact, idea which we have come up with is uh, automatic irrigation. So this we have come up as, as I already told you that our uh, school is located in such a way that it is like a stepwise manner where we will be climbing up the hill. 
so it is like that so it is very difficult for the gardener to uh, water the plants and the reasons where it is very difficult uh, for him to carry the pipes that is one and during not carrying the pipes lots of water is also getting wasted so to avoid uh, this uh, effect or this challenge we have come up with automatic irrigation where next slide ma'am so these are the regions we have located in the campus where it was difficult for the gardener to take the pipes. So in these regions, we had proposed for automatic irrigation where a sensor gets installed in this area where it senses the moisture level in the soil. So it, which gives a beep, which gives a signal uh, in the sensor where whenever it is less content in the less moisture content in the soil. So based on that, he will um, water the plants gardener. And after this uh, submission of this idea, our children have even have come up with uh, in development of this idea with some more advance that they have, no, no, they're not this. So they have uh, like, uh, came up with an idea that a plastic tin, uh, which is used, a uh, uh, used plastic tin, they have installed there right now. And they have made holes to it. And when uh, there is the, indication of less moisture level in the soil, the children will go and open the gap. The water gets drained into the soil. So that's how they help the gardener as well as help in conservation of water. Uh, and the next idea, so this is hand wash to the flush tanks. So this idea we have come up where uh, our children have surveyed in the campus how much of water gets wasted during hand wash. So based on that survey, they have uh, come up with an idea, which we uh, idea that this hand wash water, why don't we channelize to the flush tanks so that this water gets into the flush tank instead of getting into the drains. So that's how this idea got developed. And so how we wanted to implement, we did not implement this, but we wanted to implement this in the campus that So if we, uh, this is a three-story building uh, in the B, B block, in the senior secondary and secondary. So if you could observe the third floor, uh, hand wash area water gets collected and that gets channelized to the second floor flush tanks. And from second floor to the first floor. And from the first floor, we are going to collect that water into a filtration tank where water gets completely filtered with the very normal process that we have in our textbooks, in science textbooks of water filtration that we do. And that filtered water, we are going to use for cleaning of the floor. So that's how this idea got done. So this is our thing. So these are the few ideas which uh, we have uh, proposed for the IGBC 2023. Uh, I hope you uh, got some ideas of innovative ideas which you can develop further for your presentations. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the thoughts are like very insightful. In fact, I really like the idea of uh, rain garden. It is very much needed. It's about uh, recharging. This is one of the processes in which the water can be recharged and also can be an ecosystem can be maintained over there. And uh, exactly. I really like the Shandivanam classroom, the nature classroom, uh, the best out yes. of waste. It's like you're yes. creating the best that you could do in the from yes. the waste. Or the from the leftovers yes. that had, that is there uh, from the trees, and other than that, it's like you know reintroducing the natural uh, you know age old way of uh, you know learning op open space, yes. open area learning, and all. The insights are very helpful to the participants also. The ideas framed up by the kids with your guidance is very um, nice, and thank you so much for the presentation. Um, uh, Zoya, I'll. Uh, okay. Now uh, we'll look into the green school rating system and also the water conservation practices. Water conservation practices that can be followed. Uh, one second. Yeah, so IGBC Green School rating system is one of the 32 rating systems that IGBC, CII IGBC has framed out. And this is exclusively to inculcate the thoughts of sustainability and green living uh, from the school premises to the kids. 
uh, where the where, where the their school itself is well, you know uh, when it is certified when these implementations are uh, done and it is certified it gives a lot of learning to the kids and also they can benefit the school when the school is benefiting the idea will inculcate to the young brains as well so as a part of so first is first what is a green school so everyone might be having this idea what is a green school a uh, few people think that you know a green school is something where a lot of greenery is maintained it's a green school but no a lot of idea you know there are other implications like water conservation hygiene uh, electricity uh, you know the energy conservation waste management also takes a major part in making a school green so a green school is one which addresses health and hygiene of children conserves natural resources uses less water optimizes energy efficiency and generate less waste as compared to the conventional school so right from the first step there should be conservation and there should be a thought which is uh, which should be aligned into the in making a school green so uh, these are the few one of the few schools until now around 160 schools have been uh, certified by igbc so signus world school vadodara modi school rajasthan ramkrishna mission high school and saraswati bal mandir are the very few of the schools like these are few of the schools which were certified by igbc so uh, so what does a green school do what does a green school do to the end uh, users that is the students or the majorly the students and then the teachers and the uh, administrative so it improves the quality of life definitely uh, daylighting and ventilation is taken into consideration hygiene of the uh, spaces and hygiene of the entire campus is taken into consideration drinking water provision of drinking water uh healthy clean drinking water healthy uh, food and hygiene toilets is one of the consideration and definitely a school uh, when it is cert when it is a green school so it, it will it will improve the building performance so the energy savings are expected up, up to 30 to 50% and water savings up to 20 to 30% other than that the infrastructural facilities that the school require a school require or has to provide for the students uh will be taken into consideration and uh, coming to the anthropometrics the requirement of uh, you know uh, uh writing desks and sitting benches and lights and fans the other equipment that is required for the school uh, are considered and the facilities for physical activities to the students like outdoor and indoor play areas uh, has to be present in a green school so this has been launched in 2014 uh, the the rating system so what are the in 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 uh, if we just sum up to the benefits of green and healthy schools definitely it improves the performance of the students and also the building performance so obviously when there's fresh air daylight and improved indoor environment which enhances the performance of the students that can definitely help these end users the uh, the uh, students and water efficiency energy efficiency and post monitoring improving building performance can definitely uh help to the conservation of water and energy and pedagogy definitely there's an eco sensitivity which can become a passion uh, through the science of uh, sustainability and children get sensitized to these environmental and sustainable aspects right at a very young age so they mind uh, uh before they you know uh, waste anything and a community definitely as a community uh, it, it is a knowledge share, it shares knowledge within the schools helping uh, which helps in reaching out to the parents as well parents and you know uh, these children when they learn these all implementations or when they get an idea about all these uh, green implementations they go they educate the outer world or as they grow they educate the communities so this will this will add on to a lot of responsibility to the kids also inculcating the responsibility to the kids also and a sense of responsibility towards the environment or the ecosystem can be definitely inculcated uh, at a very young age to the kids they learn to take responsibility of their own actions and that concerns the environment so there are four levels of certification so certified silver gold and platinum so certified the recognition is the best practices and for the silver it's outstanding performance and gold it's a national excellence and when a school attains platinum rated it's a global leadership and within the school rating also this existing schools the rating system is applicable to the existing schools and also new schools and the, where the new schools uh, in for the new schools 95% of the uh, construction has to be finished 
So the IGBC Green School system majorly focuses on the seven aspects, that is the site selection and planning, sustainable water practices, conserving, conserving and harvesting energy, eco-friendly school material, health and well-being, indoor environmental quality, and green education. So out of this, sustainable water practices or the water conservation uh, implementations are what we are going to look today. So coming to the water conservation practices, first of all, before we even, uh, you know, teach the practices or before we even make them learn what kind of practices can be done to conserve water, first thought should come to the students like that this short this thought has to be injected to their brain in fact why are we even conserving water there's a lot of water available and uh, why do we have to conserve water they should know that there are areas where water is not conserved water is not available and as their responsibility the each step when, whenever they use water in any form they should be able to conserve water so this idea has to definitely go to the kids that should be a part of the curriculum and also through the teachers. Teachers are teachers are one of the major resource, a knowledge resource for the students. So definitely they can learn through it. And school is one such, um, uh, you know, a provision that they, they can learn such kind of techniques as a part of their other learning. So it definitely um, it, to, pre to prepare for the future droughts to guard against raising costs and potential conflict and to preserve the environment and to make sure that what is available what is available for other forms of purposes also and to strengthen the communities so coming to the sustainable water practices uh, here the three r strategy is what we introduce that is reduce recharge and recycle reduce by avoiding leakages and overflowing and use of water efficient plumbing fixtures like uh, fixing aerators to the taps, uh, fixing, uh, uh, you know, dual flushes, which uses less water uh, for the flush tanks. And for the recharge, definitely whatever water or rainwater that falls onto the site of the school, onto, onto, the, onto the campus, onto various surfaces should be collected at one point and they should, they should be a rainwater recharge pits and that water should be used for various purposes like irrigation or the you know any other uh, 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 ways that the water can be used and recycling so once the water has been used for hand washing as uh, nagalakshmi ma'am was also talking in her presentation uh, the water can be recycled and it can be used for certain purposes so uh, the water can be treated it can be used for you know flushing it can be used for uh, you know, the irrigational purposes or any other, you know, uh, purposes that can definitely uh, uh, allow this usage. So coming to the water efficient pl plumbing fixtures, there are low flow fixtures where aerators and sensor based fixtures are fixed to the taps and uh, low flush fixtures. So that is the dual flush or sensor based urinals or waterless urinals. So if you can see the first image, uh, the tap can be fixed with such kind of aerators over here. The aerators will definitely, uh, the water flow will be less and water usage can also curb a lot at a very first step. And coming to the low flush fixtures also for uh, the, um, to drain out the solid, they can go for the six liter and to drain out the liquid, they can go for the three liter flush. And uh, definitely a waterless uh, urinals are also coming into practice in many schools and many, uh, you know, uh, uh, spaces today. And coming to the rainwater harvesting, there are two uh, uh, methods. One is the collecting rainwater through collection pond or storage tank and uh, percolating this rainwater into the ground to recharge the groundwater. So percolation pits and collection of collection to a bore well can happen. So this is a widely accepted and implemented practices, not only in schools, but in most of the projects, because rainwater is the first form of the pure water, which can be conserved first and then can be treated if required and it can be used for other purposes. So this, this, this idea of collecting the rainwater should be the first thought, in fact, to the kids. And uh, wastewater treatment. So come... Uh, when the water, the water which has been used for 
uh, washing hands or uh, you know whatever wastewater that is collected it can be treated in two different ways one is through biological treatment that is phytoremediation and root zone treatment where here the roots of certain kind of plant species can be used to filter out the impurities from the rainwater from the uh, you know the wastewater and it will be polished in the second tank so the first tank is basically a filtration tank which uh, you know uh, takes out around 60 to 70 percent of the impurities the particles and the second tank also has the plant material which polishes which polishes this treated water again and it can be stored in a tank uh, so the image over here is uh, the phytoremediation root, uh, root zone treatment over here and the mechanical treatment again includes the uh, you know sort uh, chlorination and different forms of mechanical treatment that can uh, treat the wastewater. So coming to the implementations for water conservation by the winning school. So I would like to show three to four schools where they uh, where they frame uh, like I try to frame up the ideas that they had implemented as a part of their submission so that this can give you some idea how water saving can be done and water uh, saving or conservation ideas can be framed from your end. So this is from Bal Bharati Public School in Prasth Yojana, uh, Ghaziabad, UP. Here, this particular school, they want to uh, propose an uh, atmospheric water generator which will convert the humidity of uh, or moisture uh, content in air to, to water. This water is supposedly clean and could be used for farming or mopping purposes. So this is one of the ideas that they came up with. They wanted to use technology uh, by in installing a uh, atmospheric water generator. And uh, and this another school from Greater Kailash, uh, KR, uh, KR Mangalam School, uh, where they are introducing a rainwater harvesting system. They came up with the investment that is required for the tank for the system costing and filtration and treatment maintenance and uh, you know maintenance and extra cost so they came up with the idea of how the rainwater harvesting can be done where they can come, which it can be used for where the store the rainwater stored water stored rainwater can be used for irrigation flushing toilets and washing vehicles in the school and uh, this this school uh, kendri vidyalaya rohini uh, sector 3 in delhi here they want to uh, come up with the installation of automatic water watering system. So it is also uh, uh, addressed by uh, Ms. Uh, Nagalakshmi as a part of her presentation. So installation of automatic watering system can definitely curb a lot of water wastage and uh, water usage is also very limited. Whatever the water uh, is required for the plant, it can be used. So this is one of their ideas. And coming to the Fountainhead School, they, they also came up with the idea of rainwater harvesting system uh, so that they can reduce the dependence on external water sources when the water is uh, stored as a part in the school campus. And sewage treatment plant, definitely. So it is designed to efficiently treat and purify wastewater from the school, school premises. So the grey water, har they, they want to implement the grey water harvesting as a part of their school uh, sewage system and all. And uh, deep all uh, Brodoni in Kolkata, they came up with uh, the idea of aerators. So bidding running taps and uh, add you smart water taps are at our rescue. So they can they came up with uh, the idea of aerators and also smart water, water taps. So which, uh, which are sensor based, which had come up everywhere. So they came up with that idea. And uh, we should not, they came up with the slogans, we should not waste water. And they have done some research based on this. And they came up with the uh, uh, install automated water pump in our school that can uh, switch off the pump when maximum water level is reached and switch it back on right before all the water is exhausted. So this is a win-win situation. And uh, coming to the solar uh, panel cleaners, this is one of the innovation idea which I personally liked also. Instead of using treated water or uh, any form of water to clean the solar panels, they they address this issue which I found it very uh, you know um, very interesting. So they want to install dry automatic cleaners as they are more reliable and conservative. So instead of using water, they want to go with the idea of no. You uh, use no water. So they want to install dry automatic cleaners uh, for the solar panels. 
and reuse of drained water from the kitchens or pantries or which can be used for so infiltrate this gray, gray water into the ground don't allow it to the pool or runoff so that is what they are uh, saying there. and keep your system as simple as uh, possible avoid pumps avoid filters that need uh, that, that doesn't need any upkeep so water conservation as a part of this, you know, the, the teachers are the, the uh, first pioneers in creating this awareness to the kids through green education. So now green education has taken up a first uh, bench, in fact, in, in the curriculum. So as a part of it, water conservation, ideas on water conservation and, you know, what the, the ways and means of saving water at personal level also has to be taught to the kids. Uh, where every, when when there, it can be a kitchen used water, you know, the toilet used water, when they're watering a plant or using a toilet, flushing at, a, at their toilet or, uh, you know, any anywhere that they should understand the basics of saving water in, at their personal front. And they should be able to teach to their siblings, family members and the community. So such kind of educational projects should be introduced, which most of the schools are definitely doing, but still a lot of schools have to take this up as uh, one of the major requirement uh, or one of the major point in their curriculum. And such kind of uh, implications has to be done. So uh, regarding IGBC uh, Green Your School Program 2024, uh, Zoya from United Way Delhi will be uh, explaining in detail. Zoya? Yeah. yeah, hi Manisha. Hi, good morning yeah, everyone. Yes, uh, I will present my screen, this. Manisha. I'm sharing the screen. No, no, I'm sharing. Just wait a You're sharing. Okay, yeah. fine. Is it visible? One second. Yes, it is visible. Yeah, good morning, everyone. So we have a, one program which is a CSR initiative initiative of Carrier India and the implementation partner IGBC and the United Way Delhi IGBC Green Year School Program. This is the annual program which is open to all the schools across India in which we encourage schools to come up with the sustainable ideas to convert their existing or the new building into the green campuses. Our main objective to is, is to instill the eco-sensitive behavior in the daily lifestyle of the children to spread the awareness about environmental education, to enable new or existing school to into the eco-friendly building and to launch as much as sustainable building we can. So the vision of this program is to enable majority of schools in India to convert into the green schools by 2025. What is this program is about? This contest is being held from the last 18 years with the support of Carrier India in association with IGBC and United Way Delhi. It is applicable for all the school across India, whether it's a government school, private school, any school. What you need to do is to form a team of three students and one teacher. The standard should be seven to ninth. And you need to register at our website. This is our website, greenyourschool.in. You should you should go to this website and register in the option register now you need to register your schools then after registration you need to submit a ppt of five sustainable or health well-being ideas and what is the criteria of selection of a school first we circulate the information to all the schools that registrations are open for green year school program then schools register and then school develops the ideas once they upload their presentation our pre-jury members select the schools from the registered schools to those who have submitted their schools. Once the pre-jury evaluation is done, we, se we select around 20 to 30 schools in the pre-jury. After the pre-jury, we select top, top eight schools for the final jury. In the final jury, top three schools has to come up and present their ideas. After that, we start distribution of the grant to the shortlisted top eight schools. This is the methodology and the guidelines. You need to come up with the three student and one teacher from each school and submit five sustainable ideas. You, what should be in the PPT is the narrative and proposal of the ideas. What should be the benefit to the school and approximate budget for each idea. 
This is our evaluation criteria. We evaluate on the basis of the practicality, innovation of idea, benefit to the schools and society, and education and awareness. The grant amount which we give to the schools is to top three, we give around three lakh and a trophy and a certificate. And to top five, we give the grant amount of 2.25 lakh to implement those green ideas. Hello. These are the example of few of the ideas. These are some of the recommendations in which you can propose your ideas. Energy efficient, water conservation, waste reduction, green landscaping, sustainable transportation and curriculum integration. This is all about the Green Your School program. If you uh, have any question regarding the program, so you can yeah. uh, ask to me or Manisha. Yes, this is all about the Green Your School program. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Zoya and Nagalakshmi ma'am. Uh, if anyone have any doubts, yeah. you can definitely ask uh, regarding the registration or regarding the program itself, regarding the implementations, anything that you wanted to ask, you can definitely ask us now. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, range mover. Uh, yeah, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to ask that uh, the students uh, participating in this uh, event, is it okay if they are across any curriculum because our school offers more than one yeah, curriculum? Yeah, any curriculum is fine. No, that, that is okay. not an issue. The okay, ideas are important, you. in fact. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Yes, Varsha Savat, you can mute yourself and please ask the question. Or you can type on in the dialog box as well. Yes, Lakshmi Shobha. Uh, okay, yes, ma'am, I'm able to speak now. Yes. Uh, may I speak, please? Yes, please. Uh, actually, ma'am, I wanted to know that what is the date on which they have to present 30th of September. Ma'am, actually, we, we are going on with our half yearly exams right now. So students are occupied uh, till 30th of September 15 to 30th. We have our half yearly exams. So uh, what is the uh, is there any other way when we can present on any other day? Okay. Um, probably uh, if we will extend the date of the registration or the submission, then you can submit. Okay. If we will extend. Okay. Even I have so, from your end, right? Uh, we have registered, but then our students are busy with the half yearly exam, so they are not okay. able to uh, prepare the PPT and all. So I was just asking if the date could, could be extended. Yes, it's, it will probably extend, but uh, we are not sure as of yet. So if it is extend, you can submit the, your PPT after 30th September. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. Um, I just wanted to know if you have to give the presentation, is it online uh, or we just give the PPT is what I wanted to know. Hello. No, you need to submit the PPT. Uh, only you don't need to present the PPT. You have to just submit the ideas. If your school is selected in the top three, then we will call you in the award ceremony. There you have to present. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any more 
Ma'am, the submission link is there on the site only, na? Where we have to submit the PPT? Yes. Once you will register your school, then you will have okay. the access to your page. There you can upload your presentation. First, you need okay, to register to your school. Ma'am, yes. we have already registered, but uh, uh, okay, I'll just go so to you the site. You need to re login. You need to log in. Once you will log in, so you will be directed to the uploading the presentation. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Mom, your mic is off. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Zoya, there's some issue with Zoya's uh, uh, network. So uh, when you log into the into the website, you will be redirected to the submission uh, submission where you can upload the presentation in that. And uh, so the next school, next Green Year School webinar will be conducted on 17th, where we'll be sending you the links. The next topic will be um, mostly on energy, and you can get similar ideas like similar ideas will be shared how energy can be conserved and how an energy generation can be green and sustainable so that can inculcate more ideas to you so please attend that webinar and we'll anyway share the links and the flyers related to the webinar so every week from now on we are conducting the webinars mostly on tuesdays and we'll definitely inform you regarding this please join those webinars also where one topic uh, will be covered and also one winning school will be giving the presentations uh, regarding the green year school like from the previous green year school uh, winners will be giving the presentations uh thank you so much um, if you have um, any um, doubt yes yes please tell um, can i give a suggestion to everyone so yes uh, the participating schools so what we have practiced in the school that i'm giving you as a suggestion you can take this so first work out on the challenging areas of the school and also find out uh, it also depends upon the landscape of the school so when you work on the challenge challenging areas of the school definitely you'll get n number of ideas to solve those challenges so that will definitely help you out thank you yeah yeah that that's definitely a, a very valued point uh, you have given uh, every school have to understand how the school is working and what are the existing conditions of the school based on that the ideas actually emerge out so even if the teachers can root out those ideas understanding the overall condition of the school the students can actually climb up the ideas they can act like climbers like if the teacher is the support the the, the students will definitely climb up their ideas and uh, so definitely it's a value addition please understand the existing condition existing landscape existing water conditions the site has and any any points in the school uh, like how nagalakshmi was presenting in her uh, uh, presentation there are uh, branches which are the uh, the uh, trees which the tree which was cut whereas the logs are used and they came up with an open classroom a natural nature classroom so such ideas can definitely help and you can come up with ideas of planting certain types of trees that can help you to solve few issues within the site um, you know definitely water conservation is covered today you can come up with ideas where energy can be conserved it can be uh, saved or it can be you know uh, generated through green waste and other than that waste related to waste management also we are going to cover uh, the topic on waste management waste segregation and waste management in the upcoming seminars so understand your school first and then come up with the ideas so that can, in fact, that is the source of ideas. Yeah, Rinjim, please tell me. Um, yeah, I, I'm just uh, interrupting. Sorry, uh, I no missed problem. out a few slides in the beginning because uh, I was not able to connect to the webinar. So no in case can we can the can I get an email of the PPT that was shared during this presentation? Uh, the recording will be shared. The previous oh, recordings of the Daniel School also will be shared. Uh, so uh, just uh, if you can just text us your mail ID. Okay. Uh, 
like we'll Absolutely. be sending to all the winning schools anyways so any doubts that you have you can reach out to zoya lubna um rohel so, bombay so, so basically i'm talking about this particular this this webinar's ppt that yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely share we'll definitely share it thank will you. be thank available you so on youtube as well great great we're uploading in the youtube as well you can definitely go through the presentation go through the entire video absolutely thank you so much yeah. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending this webinar. And I request everyone to attend the next upcoming webinars also, which are happening on weekly basis for the next one, one and a half month. Uh, that can give you more ideas. And, uh, you know, if possible, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, share the videos to the students as well so that they can understand how uh, the, uh, the green implementation ideas can be thought of. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Nagalakshmi ma'am and Zoya. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, giving such an opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, usually I have taken help from CII since 2019 in developing uh, greenery in the campus and so many other issues. This is the first time where I got an opportunity to support uh, CII. Thank you so much for giving such an opportunity, ma'am. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.